What's up everybody, it is the old 60 here for Monday, August the 6th, 2018. See, this weekend was really good to us. Everything cashed, unofficial, official, the beta test, everything cashed. So we had a really good weekend. Look to keep that momentum and carry it on into this week. So yesterday we didn't have any official or unofficial plays. Everything had cashed out on Saturday. But we were watching the one over-under bet with the Atlanta and the Mets, and um, it did go over. It took nine innings for us to get to eight, and then it took an extra inning for us to get the win. But either way, it was six. There were three to three, six runs total going in the ninth. We had a run in the top and the bottom of the ninth to tie it back up, made it four to four, and that guaranteed us a win because even no matter what happened, they were going to get an extra run, and that was going to put us over the eight and a half. So it worked out really well there. And now we carry that momentum into this first half of the week. And hopefully we can continue to have success. So as far as today, we do have four official plays that are starting up. We do have one game that could go either official or unofficial according when the line drops. And then two unofficial games. As far as the over-under beta, we did add another parameter. And I'll go over that when we get to that point. But we only have one of those plays right now. So it has dramatically you know, decreased the amount of plays there. Hopefully, you got it even stronger and even more pinpointed to what we need to have. As far as the game that does not have a line yet, it could go either official or unofficial. That is with the Angels. Now, the Angels are at .504, while the Tigers are at .465. You look at the Angels, and last night, they were around minus 150. So, hopefully, when the line comes back out again, it will be in that range. If so, it will be an official play, like I said. If it's too high, we'll make it an unofficial play. As far as the officials left, we do have four of those starting off today, and that first one is Seattle. Now, Seattle's at .519, while uh, the Rangers are at .489. You look at Seattle on the price, and they are minus 130. So that is where we're going in that direction, is Seattle minus 130 is the first official. Next, we have Cincinnati on the road against the Mets. Cincinnati's at .487, while the Mets are at .483. The Reds are actually the underdog here, so you look at the run line, and the run line is minus 157. So that is the second official play. Next, we have Pittsburgh at Colorado. Pittsburgh is at .501, while Colorado is at .512. You look at the Rockies here, and it is minus 142, so that becomes the third play. St. Louis at .506, while Miami is at .482. You look at St. Louis here on the road, and they are favored to win minus 156. So that becomes a fourth and final official play. Like I said, we're still waiting on the Angels line. When it comes out, we'll see which way it goes. Now, as far as unofficial plays, we only have two of those currently. The first one is the Yankees at .529 against the White Sox at .453. Now, the Yankees are in the top three. The White Sox are in the bottom three. So you always look at the Yankees here. And it is the price is the reason for it being unofficial. It's minus 200. I have seen it as low as minus 190 in a couple places, but either way, it's way too expensive for us. The other is the Cubs on the road against the Royals. Now, the Cubs are at .518, while the Royals are in the bottom three of the RPI at .444. You look at the price, and it's right around the same thing. It's minus 205 to the Cubs, so that's the reason why it's unofficial. That is all the unofficial starting off today. Now, let's get into what has changed on the beta test, the over-under system that we've talked about. So over the weekend, I started looking into some other parameter to help, you know, narrow this stuff down. That's pretty much the name of the game. If you know me and the systems that I, I run, you pretty much look for reasons to eliminate data points that are, you know, too far outside the, the range. And so you keep making these parameters and keep adjusting them as you need to to get to where you're predicting a pretty solid win percentage. With this, we I started looking into the previous two series. So if our numbers, you know, if we get our averages like we've been doing, and we look and it shows that a game's gonna go over, go look at those two teams, see what their previous two series, series their previous two series have shown, and make sure that that is Either, you know, either they're at 500, they're three and three to overs and unders, or make sure that they are a better record towards the side that it's showing to lean to. So if you, for say, 
if you're showing to go over. You don't want a team to be two overs to four unders. You know what I'm saying? You want it to be flip-flops. You want it to be four overs to two unders, things like that. So you want to stay consistent. And I'm hoping that this will be a way of eliminating some of these teams that hit a bunch of over, or hit a bunch of unders and then boom there was a game where they went over the number by 15 runs and then all of a sudden it messes up the data point so hopefully if this continues this will be the way to go when i back tested it through this weekend only it gave out five plays so it eliminated 10 of the series it gave out five total and it did go five and oh it had two a bet winners two b bet winners and one c bet winner Let's hope that it continues. Now, if it does, this first half of the week, we only have one play. Now, there are more games, obviously, starting up tomorrow, so we have potential to pick up a couple more. But as far as all the games starting off today on Monday, we only have one series that it fit, and that is with Detroit and Los Angeles, the Angels. So right now, Detroit is at negative 0.4, while the Angels are at 0.1. So you'd obviously look at the under. Now, the line that I've seen is 8.5. The under is shaded at minus 115. You go back and look at the record. Detroit is 1 and 4, overs to unders. And the Angels are at 500. They're 3 and 3. So, therefore, you look at that, or excuse me, Detroit is 1 and 5. So, therefore, you look at that series, and it's, you know, one team is at 500. It's playing 500 baseball. It could go either way. The other team is really good to the under, so therefore it backs it up. Therefore, that becomes the play. There were a few other plays, and in the future when we get this thing settled out and it becomes completely live and moving, it's just like the other systems. We will have official and unofficial. Right now, I'm only going to list that one game just to see if this works, and if it does, hopefully we can move into being live later on, and I'll list everything. But pretty much it's the same thing. If a series is almost there, but it misses one of the parameters, it will be unofficial. If it meets them all, it will be unofficial. That's all I have today. Now we'll go ahead and recap everything because I know I've given out a lot of information. As far as officials, we have a lot of those. We have four right now with the potential of having another. We have Seattle minus 130, Cincinnati on the run line minus 157, Colorado minus 142, and St. Louis minus 156. We also have the Angels that were waiting for a line. The last time we seen the line, it was minus 150. As far as unofficials, we have the Yankees minus 200 and the Cubs minus 205. And as far as that beta test still going on with the over-unders, we have one game in or one series, and it is Detroit and the Angels at under 8.5 minus 115. That's it. I really appreciate you watching the video. Have a great Monday, and I will see you in the AM. Thanks. 60% of the time, it works every time.